Hi, my name is Danny, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download Autodesk Inventor Professional 2014, as you can see highlighted here. So if you don't have the software, um, this is the right video for you to be viewing to figure out how to download it. So your first step is going to be opening up your uh, web browser of choice. I'm personally going to use Chrome because that's what I prefer. I'm going to go over and left click that twice to open it up. And you're going to go up to the URL bar and type in students autodesk.com. Press enter. Then you're going to want to go here where it says um, Autodesk software for students and educators. And then under where it says student software, you're going to left click secondary students. And this is where you're going to get your free Autodesk software. As you can see, uh, this page is going to come up and you're going to want to go down to um, popular. It's going to give you inventor professional. Uh, with the little orange eye, left click that once. And then you're going to want to create an account. Um, I already have an um, account created, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the window and select your country, birth date, um, and all of this other information. It's pretty straightforward. I don't see anyone having much of a uh, problem with that. You can just select student or faculty. You're just going to have to type in your um, school information. And then there's a few terms and conditions you have to agree to, and you can read um, all of those as you see fit. And press next when you're done. Again, I already have an account. So I'm just going to exit out of this and sign into mine. Um, again, once you have an account, this uh, will pop up, and I'm going to go ahead and enter my information really quick and get signed in. So as you can see now I have successfully signed in um, and once you do that you can go ahead on to the second step by selecting the free software that you want. So you're going to pull down the choose your version by just left clicking on that once. We're going to select Inventor Professional 2014. Um, if you're feeling adventurous and want to download 2015 to have the latest version that's fine. Um, it should not be drastically different from the software I'm going to be using in these videos, but there may be a few differences that you're going to have to compensate for. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable with that, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and select the 2014 version. So then we're going to want to select your language, and we're going to go ahead and select English. For the operating system, we just want to go with the Windows 64-bit. That's going to give everything you want. Um, they're going to send this license information to your email. You're going to want to check that, make sure you approve everything. Then you're going to want to left click install now. Then you're going to get yet another license and service agreement. Just select accept. Again, you can uh, read through these agreements as you see fit and go ahead and press install. And then um, you're going to want to go ahead and follow all of the basic uh, download instructions that they give you right here. Again, these are going to be pretty self-explanatory. And I already have the software downloaded, so I'm going to skip ahead um, to the desktop. And so once these are downloaded, you should get uh, some variation of these icons that pop up. And I believe these are it. There may be a few others that I'm missing. But really the only one you have to be concerned about is this Autodesk Inventor Professional 2014 or um, I guess whatever year you decided to download. And that's where we're going to be um, opening up to do most of the videos that you'll see uh, from here on out. So thank you for watching this. I hope this was helpful to you um, who need to download the software. And if you have any further questions, feel free um, to contact us. Thank you.